Oh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Josh Herman. I'm going to be making some stuff today on our channel with, with y'all. I'm excited to be here today. We're going to be doing something a little different than we normally do. Uh, we're going to be changing up the format if, in case you've been watching the stream in the past several weeks. Uh, we've been working on the same project over and over and over. Uh, so that is going to be different than what we're doing today. We're going to be doing several different, I guess you could call them warm-ups or sketches today, rather than working on one project continuously. Um, I'm going to get some music playing. Can everybody hear me, by the way? Is everything sounding okay for everybody? I'm hoping so. Oh. Get some lo-fi music on here. Got to get things going. Good morning. Good morning. Sounds good. Awesome. Good to hear that from you all in the chat. Super helpful. Uh, if there is any questions, any comments, any concerns in the chat while I'm working, let me know. Uh, just so you know, today what we're going to be doing is, uh, first off, I'll show you my Instagram. This is my Instagram. This is my art station. Uh, you can follow me at Droids for Sale. Uh, and if you can also follow me on Instagram, if that's helpful for you. Uh, but the reason I put this up here is so that you can see uh, some of my portfolio, some of the projects that I've worked on. I've worked on film, I've worked on games, I've worked on collectibles, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So again, if you have questions on any of that, um, it would be awesome for you to ask them so that I can address them. Uh, in case you are new and you've never seen this or you've seen this before, you'll notice something weird on the screen here. Um, this little 25 up here, we're going to be using this. This is actually a timer. Uh, we're going to be using this today as, as our sketches. So we're going to do a series of six 25-minute sketches. Uh, think of it kind of like a workout, and we'll be using the this timer here to kind of use it as a countdown. So I'll be starting in one minute, I guess. So I should probably get this thing going. Uh, open up ZBrush here. You can see I've already sketched around really, really quickly on this uh, sculpt. So sculpt it's a sphere uh so we're gonna go and get going uh any tips for considering applying to gnome and got any tips good question uh jimmy is missing from twitch is asking have i made any game models i have made some game models none of them are really on my portfolio uh but this one here is salim from uncharted 3 so i ended up working at naughty dog uh, on uncharted 3 i think back in 2012 uh, and worked on that made a bunch of game models for that and several other background characters and stuff there so Good question, though. Uh, the questions about the Noman portfolio, I think we can get to those. Hopefully, we'll have a, a recruiter or a Noman rep uh, joining us soon so they can help answer your questions as well. Uh, but yes, uh, I can answer those once I get rolling on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to change up our format, hide some of these overlays just so you can kind of see exactly what we're looking at here. Full screen that for you. And we will officially have been running for five minutes on the stream as of now. So I'm going to hit start on our timer and we're going to start streaming. Streaming. We're already streaming. We're going to start sculpting. So the first one is probably going to be a little bit of a warm up. I'm going to switch to my clay build up brush, uh, my move brush. And we're just going to be searching for shapes. I'm probably going to make a somewhat standard head shape here. Get a this up here so I can take a look at it. Kind of an alien head shape. I'm okay with that. Do I drink tea? I do drink tea. I drink a lot of tea. Actually, I don't drink coffee. I'm a tea person. Black tea, unsweetened, iced, ideally. <laughs> Not that you really need to know specifically the type, but I had a feeling that might be a follow-up, so you know, might as well get that out of the way. Is this going to be a creature or a humanoid? That is a great question. Nobody asked that. I asked that to myself. But uh, let's just kind of get some of these features in. Let's get going. Uh, you'll see in the chat if you're wondering about admissions um, or portfolios, there's a contact card which is being put in the chat now. That is going to be great for you to reach out and reach out to our admissions advisors. Our, our admissions process is a little different than other schools, so it's more of a mentorship than it is uh, an application process. 
So you can speak with one or with one of our advisors, and they can kind of help you out as far as getting the you know things up and rolling. Can you model something for me after you model what you're working on? You don't mean like send it to me. Uh, yeah, I'm I am very open to suggestions for what we're working on for the rest of these. Again, we're doing six of these today. So this is just the first one. This is probably going to be the worst one. Typically, the worst the one you start with is always like the worst idea or thing that you get out there. So. Now we're just getting some heads. We might end up doing creatures, random shapes, kind of things like that. Right now, honestly, I'm kind of just getting in the flow as far as sculpting is concerned. We'll get this, pull out a little nose here. Uh, I'm not going to be making specific fan art or anything like that in the stream today. I mean, maybe if something happens to follow that look, I might do it. But just because we have this time limit here of uh, 25 minutes per sketch, uh, it's a little hard to, to, to nail like a likeness down for something. station follow i think that's what thank you whoever that was appreciate that i think you guys can hear the uh the notifications i think you can just hear spotify but thank you all right let's see what we can do this will probably just be a head without a neck we can maybe get a neck is this dynamishable it is great let's get a neck in there maybe a little high on the back huh didn't do at all what I wanted it to do. Let's switch to the uh, move, the, the transpose line. Just trying to get like a shape out here. Ah, yes. We're making a human made of pyramids. Uh, is it okay to sculpt in Blender? Good question. Yes, you can sculpt in Blender. Uh, you, you can do anything you want. Uh, full disclosure, though, ZBrush, which is what I'm using today, uh, is definitely the number one sculpting package used by pros. There are cheap or free options, uh, meaning ZBrush Core or ZBrush Core Mini. Uh, but if you're you know, on a budget or you're learning for the, for the first time, uh, Blender is a great option. Uh, you can obviously sculpt in Blender. You can model things in Blender. Uh, and if you're wanting to submit stuff to an art school or something like that, uh, Blender is probably fine. Uh, I don't know, honestly, if I don't think any game companies use Blender, as far as I'm aware, uh, for their package. So you'll probably need to know a bigger package like Maya if you want to work at a bigger company. Uh, not saying that they couldn't help uh, train you on that, but it is something that you probably would want to know, even if it's just a working knowledge, the basics of it. Good question. Um, hello, hello. I send you a link. Gotcha. Is there are there more three D modelers out there than there are three D three D modeling jobs? It's an interesting question. I think there's an ample amount of jobs to answer that part of the question. Uh, I think you know when it comes to uh, modelers versus jobs. I don't know. There's a lot of people that I know that model as a hobby. You know, and they're not really looking for jobs, so. Or, or they do it to do different types of things, whether they're tabletop enthusiasts or people that make jewelry or, you know. But if you're saying, is it hard to get a job as a 3D modeler? Uh, not if you're good. I ended up adding this neck and it is just giving me all kinds of problems. So we're just going to quickly address that. 
as fast as we possibly can and uh, see what we can do with these shapes. Did you finish the human lizard character? If you did, have I posted the final renders anywhere? No, I did not finish it. Uh, I was just honestly kind of getting a little, not burnt out, but getting a little bored of continuing to work on that project. And so I kind of wanted to use today as a, a break, as a routine, a break from routine, as a, um, you know, let's try something different today. Let's do something different and let's make some other shapes. So today we are just sculpting on these characters and then in the future at the five minute break uh i will jump on and maybe open load that file so you can kind of see what the they're talking about but for now we're just going to do six sketches today six sketches each sketch 25 minutes is the goal that's what this timer up here is in case you aren't sure I uh, would encourage you, if you're interested, to use this as a, a practice for yourself. So you can use my timer. You can follow along. It doesn't matter if you're sculpting, drawing, or painting, or illustrating, or modeling, or whatever you're doing. Use the timer. I use timers all the time in my personal work uh, and professional work. Um, use the timer as just like a you know timer, as a benchmark for yourself to explore things. What am I making? I'm making a random, what kind of feels like a ghost sort of right now. I don't know that for some reason this is evoking like a sort of spectral image. I think that's just because the face has like zero detail. But uh, right now, this is just sketch one. Sketch one, no reference. At the five minute break, I'll ask chat if you have any suggestions for what I should sculpt for the next sketch. So feel free to get some ideas out. You can toss them in the chat now if you want, but uh, I'll be asking for them in approximately 16 minutes. Ideal things to sculpt as a noob, a skull. Skull, 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 human anatomy or things around your home that you have really great reference for. I need way too much time on this bust. See, this is why I didn't want to do this part. But it is adding a little bit to the character, this sort of stoicness. Swamp monster. John Mahoney. Hello, John. Good to see you. Good to hear from you. Hope you're doing well. All right. I don't want to go this way with the nose. Let's go do like a... Let's get into this face a little bit and explore it. Do we want to do a human face? Do we want to do a alien face? I'm watching Sweet Tooth. We just finished Sweet Tooth season one. Zombie Batman. Oh, I like that idea. I'm going to need to get some notes. I'm going to get up some paper down in a minute. Zombie Batman in 25 minutes. I could do it. We could try for a zombie Batman. I like that. I try to remember that. John, if you're gone, that's okay. Come back. See how Zombie Batman goes. But, uh, Chad, if you guys can remind me of Zombie Batman, that's definitely going on the list. We got to do six today. So, five more. Four more on the list. Do I ever watch the movie Grandma's Boy? I did watch the movie Grandma's Boy. The game developers. Getting some shapes out here. Let's get some eyeballs in here. Let's, what kind of eyeball should we make? Bigger? Smaller? All right, let's go this side. We got 13 minutes left, so we can't really dawdle. What's the right word? Dawdle, noodle, sit. 
I gotta stay somewhat focused. We're not gonna get into any color today. This is probably about as far as we're gonna get, as far as detail is concerned in really any of these sketches, unless one just, for some reason, catches fire, we're gonna stick to some relatively simple forms. With that, we're focusing on primary forms. Yeah, come on, eyeball. Interesting. I've actually found it's actually much easier to sculpt characters with their eyes closed. So, you know, if we do something like this, it just feels like their eyes are closed. Or as if we kind of do this, right? We need to like sculpt an eyelid on top and an eyelid on bottom. This is kind of interesting though. Let's kind of get some detail underneath this thing. Just a habit. Sketch one. Do I recommend to turn on perspective when sculpting? I like perspective on when sculpting. Uh, I know some people do not, but I feel like even though the camera in ZBrush is not perfect, I've definitely heard that complaint many a time. Um, I still find like it's I still find that it's useful. All right. Ears out there. I'm going to just move this back. It's a good amount of time to spend on a video game character, roughly. Oops. Um, if you were at a studio, you know, like what I used to task artists with for a full armor set or a character would be about four to eight weeks of time so that's you know all the way from sculpt to low poly textures bakes etc so if you're doing a full video game character four to four to eight weeks uh, of 40 hour work weeks so that means you know whatever that means uh 160 would be a month so between 160 and 320 hours is what I would say should take you to do a full video game character. And this of this face. This ear is really just more of a graphic shape, isn't it? It's not really pulling its weight. The thing I like using about the, or the reason I like using the timers is because they force you to move. They force you to move around and to not do the same thing over and over and over and over and over. feel just because I'm watching these seconds take down which is so much stressful to be honest um, like I should be moving on to the next thing it's really like a mousy appearance to this character so we could enhance that if we want
Does sculpting while listening to music help you sculpt better? Uh, no, not really. Some people I think that it does, especially if you're doing concept art, I've noticed actually. Um, when I'm doing more specific for concept art work, uh, I might curate a, a playlist or listen to specific types of music or bands or or ambience that is going to sort of you know help me get in the mindset of the place or the whatever it is specifically that I'm trying to get into. In that case, the answer is sometimes, uh, but I wouldn't say that it necessarily always you know makes you sculpt better. I think it just helps you get in the zone. Uh, I know a lot of people, myself included, that will also watch videos, streams, movies, and do all that stuff as well. So it's not just, you know, music. Right, seven minutes left. How do you ensure you're making progress with your projects? Like if you feel like you're wasting your time on something that isn't working. Um, how that is a great question. How do you feel like you're always making progress? Um, how do you feel like you're always making progress? I guess what I like to do is I like to go back and forth in my projects. Of um, what I mean by back and forth is like open the old file. Just open the old file and be like, is this making progress or is this not making progress? Uh, and if it is making progress, then cool. You, you'll see it. Uh, if you sit and you're feeling like I'm not making progress, the, very likely you're not making progress. Uh, and if you're not making progress, the best way for me to address that is to work on another part of the project. Um, and just kind of keep moving. Similar to what I'm doing right now is I'm just continuously moving along. I'm going to use their Sculptress Pro feature here. Get a little bit of clay in here. Sculptress Pro just adds geometry where it's going in case you've never used it before. Pretty cool though, because now you can kind of come in and like what I'll do is I'll mask this for example. Try to not get this section. You can like create you know, very classical sculpture like eyes. If you want to create indentations, you know, and then I can kind of come in and sculpt areas like that. So it has more of a, a specific caricature to it. I'm just going to leave it kind of more uh, like this. I like using that feature quite a bit, actually. All right, let's keep going with this. We have five minutes left on this character. Again, this is just one of our first sketches, so we're not really looking for anything specific. We're just trying to get in the habit of making something. And hopefully the next ones will be a little more interesting. Not too bad, though. Not too bad for sketch one. Do you ever finish things super early while working on projects? Of course, yes. Definitely done that a couple times, you know, where you, you finish a project early. You know, deadlines, I think that's something that's interesting about a deadline is a deadline is, is the time it needs to be done by. It doesn't mean it's the day you have to turn it in. So if you get done early, that's fantastic. What are my tags set up incorrectly? Sorry. Oh, uh, out of curiosity, how do you get so many views on ZBrush every time you sculpt it? Is there viewers or your tags set up incorrectly? I, I don't know. We have a deep following on Twitch and YouTube and uh, Facebook as well. So we're multi, you know, we're multi-streaming to three platforms. I, I don't I don't really know, but good question. My desktop audio recording sounds like it's defaulted to 44,000 hertz range. Good to know. Does it sound bad, the audio recording? 
Is it the audio or is it the mic? Or both. How did I place the timer on my screen? This is actually an app uh, called something, but it has a whole range of things in here. Clipping and underwater. It's your recording. Got it. Clipping and underwater. Sometimes it sounds like zapping. Interesting. Sounds like audio interference, not the mic. I'm wondering if it's just the music that you're talking about. I have had some weirdness on the... I'm using a voice meter here. I'll turn the music off. Simple fix. Go to sound. Oh, okay. Sounds. Playback? Recording. Whisker King, you give me the steps and I'll follow them. In the meantime, we'll just kind of finish this character up. Mm -hmm. I assume you want me to go into my mic. It is on one channel, 16-bit, 48,000 DVD quality, which sounds like what you're talking about. You're saying go to 32-bit. doesn't give me a 32-bit option. It gives me a two-channel, but no 32-bit option. Oh, I thought it was whiskey, not whisker, sorry. Or somebody else wrote that. much done just gonna get some stuff in here oh there we go one minute Using an audio interface, I suppose it's a USB mic. It actually is an audio, a uh, analog mic. I have some gain settings and stuff on my input. This is going to be our first sketch. Not the best, but we're warmed up and we're ready to go. I heard Zombie Batman was an option, so we're probably going to do that one. <laughs> Weird. Good luck in my sound stuff. Thank you very much. We're out of time here, so we're going to reset this. We're going to wait five minutes till it is 2.35, and we'll make another one. So we have our first, apparently some sad character over here that we'll work on, and we'll load up a new sphere. Tool, Sphere, Polymesh 3D, Geometry, and here, Struct Subdiv, so it gets lower, delete the higher ones, turn on Dynamesh, it's a little high, 64. Base, what we're going to work with. We'll start that in a couple minutes. We'll start this timer again. We'll do another sketch. Let's get this going. All right. Let's see. I'm going to play with some of my audio settings. You were saying there were some differences here. This changes anything. Or if it's pretty much exactly the same. As far as sound quality is concerned, just doing one quick setup. You're wondering how so many active viewers. I don't know how many actors viewers we have, Whisker. So I'm curious what you're uh, what you're seeing or hearing. 
All right, 35. I'll catch you. All right, everybody. Five more minutes or three more minutes. We're gonna do another sketch and another sculpt. There was a suggestion with um, zombie Batman. So let's do a Batman. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to do zombie. We can get a, an image. I'll get myself a reference image of Batman up just so I make something like that. Make sure I know what I'm looking at. Zombie Batman. All right. I've got two minutes. I'm going to get this thing started. If there's any other suggestions for more sculpts as I'm working, go ahead and shout them out. Somebody says Samurai Jack. Oh, we're just going to go for characters. They can also just be creatures, aquatic creatures, reptiles, you know, whatever, whatever we want to sculpt today. It doesn't specifically have to be fan art or a name of another character. It's almost made a folder. It's like we have Dynamesh on. <laughs> Pharaoh Batman. <laughs> We're gonna make five bat men today. Uh, yeah, we could always we could always do that. Uh, Gibbon, it's good to see you, sir. Hope you're doing well over there. All right, two more minutes and we'll get this started. Oh, wait, I should have another timer. I feel like I should have a five minute timer that counts down. I think there is a way to make it count up afterwards. Anything with long hair, so we'll see the process. We are, I mean, we can try in 25 minutes. Something with long hair is going to be a challenge. Definitely a long challenge to do something in 25 minutes. So, again, the goal is to do sketches today. Realistic Pac Man with mohawk and sunglasses, tongue out. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. Game dev. Bayonet and ricochets generally I sculpt miniatures. Any chance you can throw in some hard surface and do a quick way of doing panel lines? I just sculpt in panel lines, honestly. All right, Zombie Batman. Zombie Batman is the is the challenge that has been posed by John Mahoney. We need to have a big square jaw. I'm not really going to see his eyeballs, and they're probably going to have some ears. Now, Batman's got a lot of ears, and they probably usually come off of like here, right? We're going to do like a Hush Batman. We're going to do Tim Burton Batman, Val Kilmer Batman, Frank Batman, which is kind of just like this. Let's do kind of something like this. Okay. And this might be a little far back. But we'll see. Let's get a, like a line coming off that. HP for our polish brush here. Let's go ahead and switch this up. Let's switch to like just a gray one. Just so we're not looking at the same thing. I'm going to use the uh, trim dynamic brush as well to get some of this going. Oof. Am I? No, I'm not going to do that. Those are looking a little kitty cat, so we're going to try to get them over here. So they kind of follow in line with the side of his head, because I feel like Batman has a pretty strong side plane to his head, where the ears actually go. So we're going to have like eyes, nose. Keeping this low poly for a little bit because we can control this just a little bit better than you can. It's high poly. So I'm actually trying to like almost model with some of this. I mean, it always has like a very strong, a very strong nose bridge thing. This thing. You kind of have a strong, strong brow. Now, we had said zombie. That was really the challenge. But zombie, I think, is going to have to come after 
Just getting a human void shape in there at least. How like do we want to? How far up do we want to go? Do we want to do this shape? Or do we just want to do this shape? Kind of always has that little cut back here, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with that, I think. But before we add any of those lines in, we just need to make a face. So I think this Batman's gonna have a chin though. Mouth needs to stick out a little further. We'll do animal hybrids like a Komodo kangaroo. We could certainly try, yeah. I'm always down for that stuff. We can probably dynamesh at this point. Apparently I took that off. Let's see what 64 looks like. A little low. 128 will be fine. Carve that in. Just this line. We'll probably go something like this. Probably. And then we got to choose our eye shape, obviously. There's so many different Batmans that uh, we just needed to find it. And this this is not clear enough at all. Batman's got to have this. He's got to have this very clear nose plane. All right, let's keep this going. Now let's go ahead and get an eyeball in here. We can sculpt the eyeball in and then move it around. Probably want to go, unless we don't like a, a little bit of, an angry Batman. Give him the, the dedicated angry brows. Get this lip in here. Now, when it comes to this part, sculpting lips in general is probably one of the areas I kind of struggle with. So, this is where I'm like, please turn out good on the first try. Not terrible. I'll take that. It's going to take a minute.
And I model animals. I can model animals. I've modeled many an animal, actually. When I worked at uh, Legacy Effects, one of the, my projects, or a couple projects, I did um, a lot of animals in there. Uh, one was Life of Pi. Worked on a lot of Life of Pi stuff. Um, making animals for those scenes. Um, and then, let's see. Is this stuff on it? Uh, I did some Old Spice commercials. One that I did was a Old Spice commercial with a Komodo dragon that ended up being a uh, ice chest. So that was a uh, one. And I also worked on uh, a puppet, an animatronic for a an anaconda, where the um, It's a life-size puppet of an anaconda. I think it was a, a TV show called Off the Map. If I recall, Off the Map is what it was called. And uh, that was cool to make a full-size snake. 3D printed, obviously. 3D printed the snake. Well, I didn't do the print. It was somebody else printed it. But it was pretty cool because um, with that project, I got to go to like a zoo and take reference photos of an anaconda in person. And they are huge and Never really noticed until uh, being there and like right next to one, like how uh, powerful they are. I mean, obviously they're powerful. I think you expect that, but just how they're just all muscle. Uh, pretty amazing animals. How do you switch quickly between brushes? Uh, I use one, two, three, four, five, six in my left hand. So if you see me one, two, three, four, five, six up in the top, uh, that is me switching a brush. So you'll see them change up here, but I'm not going to, you know, anywhere in the uh, adjusting them. Yeah, keyboard sh shortcuts for the win. Big fan of keyboard shortcuts, personally. All right. So far, I think we have a Batman. It's definitely not a zombie Batman. That's what the request was. So we'll have to get a little bit further in on this before we... I really feel like making it, you know, something zombified because I just don't know if this is zombifiable yet. Otherwise, it's just going to look like, you know, mud. It's just going to be not interesting. The new chisel organic brushes could help. I haven't used too many of those. I'm a pretty standard brush chooser. Chat, what is your ideal age of Batman? There's so many different versions from, you know, year one, Dark Knight Returns. What's the ideal age? Thirty-five, forty. We have Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, it looks like you could see that. I'm kind of okay with that. Dolph Lundgren, Batman.
A lot of them have like this kind of a design element in it too. <laughs> kind of something off the cheekbones. Mid 30s, early 40s kind of guy. <laughs> in here is maybe a little aggressive but I don't mind it very old school yeah this is a very classic one We got about 11 minutes left, which I'm shocked this one came together this quick. It's almost like I have, I have some reference here on my arm. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was looking at. It's upside down, so I was kind of looking at it like this. But all right, we didn't do zombie. I don't know if I really want to do zombie. I'm sorry, John. I'm kind of enjoying actually doing this. I've never sculpted Batman before. If you opened his mouth a mask, like a biter zombie Batman. Yeah, but then I have to open the mouth. And uh, it is definitely closed, for sure. Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman. Ooh, Flashpoint Batman's great. Is that the red eyes, too? I'm trying to remember. What's the app name? This is ZBrush we're using today. We're sculpting some sketches today. We had a zombie Batman request, which has been now just basically commandeered to be Batman. We can keep doing other fan characters. It was kind of fun, actually. Somebody said Samurai Jack earlier. Are there other apps? Uh, Simple Sculpt and Blender. I've seen that. Obviously, Mudbox. Which, uh, some people still use. I've had many talks about that on this before, but I don't know how. I, I could never get into Mudbox. I just never like the feel of it. This chin is getting a little invasive. Where does the actual, every Batman design has like its own area around the eyes. So we'll just say it's kind of in here. Not like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, able to see it. Sometimes they're like really angular. The, that eye paint on. Trying a different nose shape. Kind of like it. Kind of hate it. Hate it. Carve this out a little bit more so it's clear. Got seven minutes. 
Have you used Reillusion Character Creator yet? No, I have not. So cool, so fast. Thanks, Jason. Looking forward to seeing your event tonight or tomorrow. Uh, Reese started doing sculpt offs with an avid Blender user, 10 minute sculpt, so you can throw something together. Very cool. Uh, Batman Gotham Knight, like a uh, Batman animatics. Oh, okay. Animatrix anthology movie has some incredible designs. That's awesome. I think I've seen that one before where there's like five or six different versions. I feel like that. I've seen that. Maybe we'll do zombification for another version of this, like 25 minutes, but that's a long time to just do a zombie. Why is everyone hating Blender? Nobody hates Blender. Blender's great. The ears, I got some trouble with the ears right now. So let's get these ears in. I need like a little definition of some kind. I can also, if anybody's a comic fan, just do this. We have a different character. Done. You might know who this is. Oh, who's this? Especially with the color of the matte cap. It's a Mark Miller, Mark Millar character. I heard they're going to make a show into it, too. What is Nemesis? In case ever, anybody's never read Nemesis, it's basically uh, a Mark Millar story where it's, you know, what if, almost, what if, bad guy, what if Batman was a bad guy? It's kind of what it feels like. Daredevil. Definitely sort of Daredevil-y. daredevil is more up here, though. more daredevil obviously we should do this good you kind of get what i'm going for well matt murdoch versus a little bruce wayne Darkwing from Invincible. Definitely like Darkwing. Yes. <laughs> the Batman parody. <laughs> All right, we're just going to add some texture to this thing and probably be done with it. A little early on this one. That's totally fine. I like this one, though. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I'll probably save a couple of these as we continue today. It didn't end up being zombified, but I had never done Batman before, so... Here we start there. Sometimes you gotta do the you know the basic version, default user, admin profile before you do any fancy ones. Be awesome daredevil for sure uh i actually worked on the in is it mcu is it considered mcu if it's the tv shows i worked on that helmet so i had a pretty good idea on what that shape was going to look like the one that uh, ryan designed all right let's just kind of get some more of this could probably get some more in here. It's really interesting like how this part of the character is really defines a lot of what the character is. Uh, you know, like if you remove, like let's say we just quickly did this. This is where I think what Daredevils is, right? Or is his cover the nose? Somebody's different like this.
just like this is more daredevil i think or different characters that have their nose kind of sticking out like that just kind of subtle changes see you jason the batman cow there's so many yeah the batman cow with the out of years is definitely like a trope of a character who gonna just push this maybe i kind of like it going in a little bit and this sort of like peak that comes off of this i'm liking that let's enhance that enhance make it sort of like a triangle oh okay one minute one minute before our five minute rest and then we'll start a new one not necessarily a batman but if any, chat if you guys have any suggestions on who the next character we do for the next 25 minutes is chat out let me know there was a suggestion for samurai jack so let me know if there's anything that interests you Like a little looser, though. Hello, hello. How am I doing today? I'm doing good. A water troll. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and save this one. I kind of like this. So let's let's keep this. Save as. Batman. Something to work off of for the future. All right. Yeah, at 305 Pacific. We'll do another one. Ninja Turtle. Okay. Okay. So we did our first sketch. You can see this was our first sketch. And this is why we always do the warm up first because it's kind of just a warm up. So the warm up here. Batman. This is our number two. We'll put this over here. We don't need to have that sketch over there anymore. While we're waiting on our next one, somebody says Invincible. Somebody says Gambit from Marvel Classic 90s. Great choice. Watch here. King Shark. <laughs> I am excited to see Suicide Squad, though. Sorry, The Suicide Squad. Invincible's kind of hard, but we could do Invincible. The double mask thing I just did. How was that done? How was that done? I don't know what double mask thing. I think it was just this is what you're talking about, but it was just colored. The whole thing was masked. Does this work if I screenshot that? Yeah. Joker. We haven't done the Joker in a long time. We could do a Joker. So far, we got a request for a bat. No, we already did a Batman. Uh, the last five minutes, slowly, step by step. Uh, I think you're just talking about how I colored this. Uh, all I really did was uh, just mask what I wanted. I masked this. Uh, I inverted it. I hit C to color pick. I like this darker color, for example. 
I hit color pick and that's changing this to that color. Then I went to color, fill object. So that now that section is that color. That's really all. All right. Somebody says the Joker. I like the Joker, I like Gambit. Let's kind of do some of those in Ninja Turtle. Let's keep those on the docket. So we got a couple minutes. Write these down. So somebody said Gambit. Somebody said Joker. Somebody says Ninja Turtle. Have I messed with Tomb Traders before? I have messed with Tomb Traders before. Uh, not a ton, though. Not enough to be like confident in saying I can show you how to make a good Tomb Trader. But I've, I've done them before. All right. Let's go ahead and get another reference search up. Gambit could probably be... The hard thing about Gambit is you got to do his face. Probably gonna look a lot like this. That's not true, but you know. Came it from the nineties. What team and T? That one, yeah, we'll do that one. Let's do a Gambit next, or Joker. Chat, you guys want Gambit or Joker next? Both of them need faces, so I'll probably maybe if I sculpt Gambit first, we do Joker. Joker next using that face, but that sounds like cheating, doesn't it? Joker Gambit both. We'll do both. Let's all right. Let's just roll with one first. We just did Batman. Let's go ahead and do a Joker. There's so many though. That's the thing. There's obviously Walking Phoenixes. There's Ledgers. There's so many Mark Hamels, Jack Nicholsons. I'm intentionally skipping over Jared Leto's. No offense, Jared. All right. Have I made any dragons? I have. I have made dragons. All right, it's time. Let's make a Joker. Let's at least let's give it a shot, huh? Polysphere. Here we go. We're gonna switch this up. Got my reference over here on the side. And let's start our timer. Twenty-five minutes. Start. Same thing, I'm gonna take this face and just kind of get it into a, a oh my God, there's a loud ding, a jokery proportion. This is gonna be extra hard because um, sculpt it with the mouth open. Sculpting mouths open is super difficult. So that's gonna be a huge element of this sculpting basically saying 25 minutes to sculpt a character with their mouth open making an expression is not a lot of time but we'll give it a shot so no guarantees that this is gonna be the best joke you've ever seen but i will give it my best attempt on oh, painting on accident let me get the, the nose in first i'm gonna block in all these big lines here uh, yes, the reference that I'm using is Adam Ross's uh, Joker. This is actually a, ref a piece of reference that I sculpted for myself a really long time ago. 
actually at Nomen. When I was at Nomen, this is one of my portfolio pieces. Let's just sculpt that. I've done this one in a long time. Always a challenge, though. Up for the challenge. You're giving yourself 25 for minutes for this. Uh, yes, I am going to try. I mean, I the goal for today was to sculpt stuff short to do sketches. Uh, so obviously, I wasn't necessarily planning on doing a Joker in 25 minutes. Uh, it's just kind of what has been requested. And Batman came out all right. So let's roll with this and see what we can get done. It's kind of the thought process. I also have a reference for this one. I didn't have as much reference for that one. And for my first sketch, which was this pitiful sculpt, uh, I also didn't have reference. I have at least a little bit more of a starting point. We would if we had nothing. You always forget about ears. This thing I always forget about when I'm sculpting characters. It's like, oh, they do have ears, you know. They do, in fact, have ears. So you got to be careful with that. Joker also has hair. Uh, whereas Batman was bald or in a cow. Clearly Bruce Wayne has hair. Uh, but this is kind of one of those, like, it's not really the face that I'm working on. It is a necessity of the character. Same with the hair. We'll do that in a minute. out there let's get this out there how gaunt is he gonna be i don't know yet we'll figure it out how high are these eyebrows going probably high enough is this head shape okay probably all right i think we need to dynamesh this thing and start going up Drawing this tooth line where the lips are going to go. Kind of start defining that here in a minute. that we'll sculpt some teeth into because uh you know joker's gotta have teeth some, some smile to speak of
trying to define like if doing a, a caricature like this is difficult as well because you need to know like if it has um like a skull like are you just doing like a caricature or do you want it to have you know actual structure in it i like if i'm doing a stylized character like this for it to have somewhat of a of a sense of of realism as far as like where those features could go and so this is where i kind of you know, spend a little time blocking this stuff out okay Let's see, I kind of want this form here to look like it's rolling upwards. It's already got a nice, strong eyebrow like uh, scowl in here. I want to continue. I'm going to be sculpting totally in symmetry today. So, no fanciness there. But this actually is turning out okay. You know, for being low poly and all that. That reminds me of the slightest bit of Steve Martin. I don't know why, but kind of getting a little bit of that in this. All right. This is not your Leto character acting. No. No, 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 Mr. Leto's. You know, arguably for me, not even arguably, it's my least favorite Joker. Jared Leto's Joker. I'm going to use kind of a larger smooth brush. I'm just going to be very gentle, and I'm just basically going to tap the surface here. Uh, you can use um, whatever this is called. What's this called? Sculptures Pro. Uh, you can use this to like make like small details, like I was showing you before. Like I could come in and start sculpting eyelids on this thing with that, and that I likely will do that. What I also like to do is make my brush a little bit bigger, and then just kind of do a, a subtle smooth because you see that I like to work small. Uh, in low subdivisions, I mean. Subtle smooth. Just basically tapping. And that'll give me a little bit more subdivision there. And then I'll turn that off so that I can use this to uh, sculpt on it without having to do other stuff. So I like this kind of a look where there's sort of this upper eyelid that's really almost like enveloped by the upper brow. So I'll have to tuck that in there in a second, I think. And this part, I want to really, really cover up the bottom of that eyeball to, using the reference that I'm using to really kind of like Give these big, squinty, you know, eyes from the smile. And then we can kind of use some of that to get these like crow's feet out here. that in there let's just start I could do add subdivision levels which will might work better for some of this uh, I'm gonna use that same trick to just add almost like local subdivision here probably here as well and maybe a little here as well so I can come in and turn this off again and kind of pinch this in here. Oops, 
Yeah, they do make them look a little old right now. I think that's also the nose being a little long. We'll have to adjust. i make some adjustments here in a minute. The lips right now are kind of crazy. There's some adjustments overall. Let's come in and just start drawing. It'll be perfectly symmetrical, which will look a little weird. Two, three. Two, those will be bigger. And these will kind of be back here. Somebody says sharp, prominent canines. I guess that would be these, right? I think those overall teeth could be bigger, like more of the smile. We'll work on that. Sculpting an expression is not easy. It's also not my forte, so I'm trying to do it quick, but also still give it some of the attention it needs. like the Lego Batman one. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a little while. I remember liking it, though. Like this one, you know, the teeth are kind of getting covered. I would imagine that, like, the teeth would actually... probably want to be, like... How would this look? making the top teeth the same size as the bottom teeth, which is not actually how it works. A little gap in his teeth.
All right, seven more minutes. All right, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the whole thing here. Uh, and we'll just start sculpting. I'm going to fill this with green, a darker green. Color fill. I'll go back to white. Uh, I'm going to deflate the whole thing. So deformation, inflate, negative five. That should push the whole piece inside it is and then i'm going to start sculpting through that to block out some hair uh, i'm going to use just the basics first to kind of define what i want the like the peak to be or how i want that to look just looking at reference at the moment Probably something like this. Just gonna get some big shapes in there. But imagine there'd be shorter hair here. I would probably kind of just go like this. Just using the uh, clay buildup brush here. reference piece pretty great uh, series of sketches by Adam Ross here kind of what the hairstyle would look like this is the reference piece that I was using so kind of continuing that back Creates sort of a, a plane that's huge on the side of his head. So this hair we get slicked back. And then you can just use, uh, what are we using here? Make hook brush. It's probably just to find somewhere that shape. Never seen a balding joker. It's uh, Adam Ross. That's a classic one. It's pretty old at this point. what can we use here a couple pieces maybe turn symmetry off we'll just kind of chisel at this and have like a couple pieces that might uh sorry yeah Adam Ross not Adam Ross Adam Ross is sculptor um
two minutes, under two minutes. I'm gonna try to go quick. Seventeen. Uh. Seven. It's about as much as I can do in that time frame. Not in love with it, but I think it's Clinton. Not bad for the time. Chisel that chin off a little bit. All right. Put that over here and work on another one. We got five minutes now. A little rest. All right. We also had Gambit and Ninja Turtles. So we got time for three, uh, four more, four more. Three more. Three more. Joker, Batman. We did an early warm-up sketch, which didn't really amount to too much. It's okay. Uh, all right. What should we do for the next three? We still have Gambit and Ninja Turtles up. She's had a face with a lot of hair. I'm not super stoked about doing Gambit at this second, so let's do Ninja Turtles next. Any suggestions uh, aside from that, though? Any questions, by the way? Happy to answer questions. I want this image. What is this? Oh, yeah. This is the image I found. Let's so maybe do one of these next. A little different, something a little different. All right. Oh. Let's switch to our green shader because I feel like that makes a little bit of sense. bad. You watch Batman Beyond a few months ago. Some of those characters are pretty sweet and don't get enough love. I agree. Batman Beyond is great. 
big fan of Batman Beyond. Big, big fan. All right, let's do this. Here we go. I'm waiting. I have 10 seconds on my side. Ninja Turtles. Is there any specific Ninja Turtle? I mean, they kind of all start with the same thing. So, so I can just kind of probably just do like this. This mast. direction I thought it was going to go. Somebody says cartoony turtle. Just getting my reference up over here. Just sketch this line in first. Since it's not like a traditional human shape, I know I want this. And then I'm probably just going to start sketching in like where the elements should go. And uh, maybe things will fall in line. Maybe not. But hopefully. Kind of like not a perfectly spherical head. Maybe there's like a little plane here, like a subtle plane here and a subtle plane here. And then this is probably a little high, so this should probably go lower. And then we just got to try to do eyeballs at some point, but those will probably be in here. With uh, you know some sort of brows, they're going to be like this, and then their mask will probably be like this. Obviously, with some tapering. This is kind of the shape we're looking at. Not like I'm going to stick with that for now, but. A good starting point. Ooh, okay. Let's give like a slight little chin bump here just to fill it out a little bit. this i'm sure people will get some people will love this some people will get real pissed off oh no making <laughs> turtles don't have nostrils didn't you know <laughs> I just remember that at the time
All right, what else can we do here? Let's get some of this going. A scowl, scowly characters today. Oh, hey, hey, it looks like I got some people joining the stream. Welcome, people, if you're joining late. We are doing a bunch of sketches today. We're using our timer. So far, we've done three sketches. Each of them has been going for 25 minutes. Uh, so six, six sketches in 25 minutes a pop today. We've done a Batman. We did an earlier warm-up sketch, which is not on here. We're doing a Ninja Turtle. We have time for two more after this. So if you have suggestions... Shout out in the chat what we should make next. We had a suggestion for Gambit. We have a suggestion for Invincible. Anything else that seems interesting, let me know. This is probably one of the easier ones just because it's kind of so simple. Shredder's helmet. Shredder or Super Shredder? Nightcrawler, that's an interesting one. It's a little too much for you. Hellboy, that's a good one. Let's get Nightcrawler and Hellboy on the list. Hellboy Nightcrawler. The best thing about making turtles, and I've actually sculpted a turtle before, and Joker before, uh, is that once you get like the head shape and like generally what the eye brows and all that's going to look like, the bandana is super easy because you basically just mask it and then extrude it and then you're done. flatter i always like the flatter one like this one that's way too wide but you know what i mean 
Oh boy, it would be fun though. They also don't have ears, which makes them really easy to sculpt. It's basically just, it's, it's like the, I don't know what the right way to say, but it's like a mad ball. It's like sculpting on a mad ball. You basically just make a face with a mouth and then you, uh, so you've got that on it. You mask the whole thing like this. And then we'll just uh, unmask some stuff. So we'll go like go like this, I guess. Go like this. I'm gonna take this. A little thin on that, huh? Let's make it a little thicker. I like it a little thicker. Give it a little sort of taper. That's too much taper. Too much taper. There we go. Once you've got that, come over here to your uh, extract options. That's going to be way too big. No, not too bad. Turn then the smooth, actually turn up the smoothing. You can do this. I'm gonna get real crazy. Oh, that's not looking like what I expected it to. I think just like I'm just gonna sculpt it into the side. That's fine. Uh, that means I don't want this part. That'll do. Except I'm just gonna sculpt into the side of this thing, back into the body. Just push that right inside. We fill this, which we didn't yet, but color, pick, clear mask, color. Fill. Now we can come in here and do whatever we want. You know, we can just do. That's a good start on that, and I'm just going to dupe this whole head. I'm going to move it down. Let's make a quick old body because we got ten minutes left on this one. Or 
first we'll make the, the body, then we'll make the neck after that. That'll be our finishing move when we can't complete everything. shell over there over here Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, chat, we got five minutes left. Then we'll have a five minute break and then we'll keep going. Got uh, additional characters to make. We got three options so far. If you have a, an additional choice or things you think are interesting, Love to hear it, but so far we have uh, Gambit, Nightcrawler, and Hellboy. If 
feel like this is like the generic turtle shell design. Shoulders are real rough, so let's just get some of that in there. And then this in there looks like they're coming in a little low now that I'm looking at this. These traps are coming in oddly. Maybe just like tuck this shell in a little bit. No, that doesn't really work. We're gonna run with it. Spike from Cowboy Bebop. We got that suggestion coming in. One of the thinner turtles doesn't really have the uh, demeanor of a raft, you know. Somewhere in here is what I'm feeling. I don't know. I feel like they always did this, or is that on the back? Like this shape. Is this a thing? I don't remember if they did that on the front, though. I think in like the Ninja Turtles 3 movie, they had like way more detail. On their costumes. They always did like this, I think. It was like, you know, super, especially in the movies, it was like super clear separation for all these. Caravaggio, the fifth turtle. Nope. Mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Never heard of them. There's no fifth turtle. All right, let's just do an overall. Oh, we have a minute. Oh. Uh. I that timer turns red because I was about to totally skip over that. Aha! There we go. Uh, let's do. Stick with orange. Yellow. Maybe one more orange. There we go. Turtle. Turtle power. Uh, let's put this dude up here. Five minute break. Sculpting something different. All right. Let's reset this because I don't want to watch this blink for five minutes. Let's see, what would be good? Um, somebody says Mega Man. We got a Mega Man request. That's an interesting one. Uh, 
Mega Man, Gambit. I'm not going to do Gambit because we've already done two other big like superheroes and like Joker kind of had like Batman sort of has a face and Joker sort of both combined have a face that's kind of like Gambit. And then longer hair would be very Joker-esque, like that length. So I don't really want to do that again. Do I know characters from Critical Role? Of course I know characters from Critical Role. Ruby. Campaign one or two, ideally two for me. Just know them a little better. Obviously their new show, Exandria Unlimited, starts tonight. Red Skull, interesting. I'm going to skip Skull because we always do Skulls. Good suggestion, though. Mysterio, if you want an easy one. Yeah, we'll just... Oh, I see Storm. Thank you, Mecha Kitten. Didn't, I just missed that. Just make a big old ball on top of a head and we'll be done. Won't be too bad. Freddy Krueger, Molly Mock. Ooh, Molly Mock could be fun. Molly Mock has horns. So we got two characters, Hellboy, Nightcrawler, and Molly Mock, which kind of honestly, if you don't know who Molly Mock is, Molly Mock is a tiefling. Uh, let's just kind of do a quick... I, I, I was wearing my Molly Mock shirt the other day. It's going to be sort of like a combination of several of the characters we've already made. But I think we'll do this one. This is a uh, Molly Mock from Critical Role. So we'll do a character like this. You know, we're only doing 25 minutes, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge. But we can run with it. So we'll pick one more after this. We'll do Molly Mock. We'll start that in two minutes. So get some purple in here. The hair is gonna be the hardest part, but we'll make we'll, we'll do our best. We will do our best. Just looking up a reference for that right now. Might as well get this set up right. Get our sphere, duplicate said sphere, or make up another poly mesh of it. Go ahead and pick our color. Purple-ish, light gray, purple. This is probably better for that. How does that look on stream? Barely purple. That'll do. All right, we're going to start working on this in just a minute. We have about a minute to go. Taking the five-minute breaks in between and doing 25-minute sketches. So the first thing we're going to have to do when we start this character, in case you don't know who this character is, this is who we'll be sculpting for our next session. Next sculpt in about 20 seconds. So I'm going to have to sculpt a face first. It's going to be pretty straightforward. The horns are going to be a big element, so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do the um, probably the hair. This is likely going to be the most complicated of the, the things we've sculpted today so we'll see how it goes but i'll have that over here for my reference all right i almost drew on my tablet with my pen pen which is not really what i want all right let's start All right, uh, where are we at subdivision wise? We'll reconstruct, delete higher. Okay, go to the side, use our move brush just to kind of get this going.
All right. This is going to be very, probably what you expect for the beginning of all of these, but, you know, putting a nose on the character, putting where the mouth will be on the character, doing the basics. This thing auto save because I haven't saved yet. And just in case anything terrible happens, it's always good to have a backup. This is where the jaw will go. This is where the cheeks will go. Probably somewhat of a similar structure to this. A fairly standard facial construction. That one not so much, but in between these two kind of. Kind of getting the planes of the face blocked out. What sort of technical formation, if any, am I keeping track of while I work? Uh, honestly, nothing. There's not a whole lot to keep track of. You know, it's kind of just like pretty basic subdivision levels maybe I'm keeping track of, but that's very subconscious. stretched just a little bit or just be thinned out a little bit a little thinner face get some stronger eyebrows even though it's so low poly I think hopefully you can see that you can actually describe quite a bit about who a character is I mean this is only 1500 points and I can get pretty far in you know to what this character is going to look like before I really do anything. This is how I work with almost every character I sculpt. I try to do this. All right. We can do the horns many different ways. The easiest is probably just to append or to come over here, go to Polysphere. Uh, in Polysphere, we can probably find a bunch of other things like the helix, the helix or the spiral. So I can actually take the spiral and come over here and go to initialize. There's a whole bunch of things in here, but if you just basically play around with these dials, you'll see that you can play around sort of with uh, how far you want this to go. Uh, I believe you can also displace it, so how far out it's supposed to go. And then you can thicken certain parts of it. So this character is going to have a horn that kind of comes out this way. It starts pretty thick. Uh, it's going to do a full rotation. I'll show you the, the reference that I'm using. Uh, so it's going to do a full rotation. I could probably dial this down just a bit, huh? Maybe like that. We'll just say 450. I don't know what that means. That's all right. Is it fine to learn with different color mat caps? Of course. Yeah, there's no issue with using different color mat caps. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable sculpting in, you know, nothing's going to make you a better sculptor as far as, um, you know, the mat cap you use or the material you use. Uh, I have my own preferences, obviously, as I'm sure most people do. But it's not going to make you better or worse. My preference is to use something that you like sculpting on. And to choose something, I, I don't choose any of these waxy ones because they create fake cavities. Not necessarily fake, but it's it's uh, part of what it does in those. Uh, you'll see it in some of these ones also in like the the clays. It'll create highlights. It'll catch extra cavities uh, that 
don't necessarily need to be there. And it doesn't make, necessarily make an appealing sculpture. So those are ones that I tend to try to avoid. Then you're fighting the sculpt itself. So uh, you can turn off those settings, though in the uh, material itself if, if you have one that you like maybe you like the look of it but if it does have those cavity settings i would highly recommend that you remove them Here, I can come in here and I can. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. I'm going to use these plugin. There's a sub tool master, there's a bunch of ways you can do this, and probably skipping over several really easy ones. But I'm going to merge into the same sub tool and just hit mirror, and that'll give us this. Uh, this isn't obviously the right size yet, but now I have at least a good starting point uh, for where I can. start manipulating this also don't want it to be so perfectly spherical it's a kind of a boring shape i want these to kind of actually blend in with his forehead at some point so figure out how that happens they might need to be i'm turning off perspective tilted inward so they can have sort of a outward Appearance. Maybe even from the front a little bit further outwards. Yeah, I think that helps. And I'm just going to drag these straight into his head. Maybe a little far. So maybe it's just push this back a tad. So this goes in there. And we can sculpt all this fun stuff. A character, like I was saying, has a lot more elements. So we're going to have to speed up here. But you can kind of get where we're going. Uh, Dynamesh. We're going to Dynamesh this face. Try Dynamesh the whole head, including the, the horns. But I'm going to not do that just yet. I'm not going to make any of the accoutrement or little pieces that would go on him either. Uh, but I will try to get the horns, at least have some lines and stuff on them. Uh, let's say, oh, too high. Uh, 64, let's start there. A little higher, okay, it's not bad. Uh, maybe a little heavy on the, the scowl, pointy on the nose. Let's just start getting some of these features in. A challenging character, this one. This is definitely a character I've never sculpted before, which is fun. It also had another challenge of, you know, trying to do a, uh, a character you've never done before. This. like this nose really at all so I'm gonna have to spend some time on there I think that's one of the things that's throwing me off this whole thing going on right now uh, 
Uh, one piece of advice that I learned a while ago, uh, when you're sculpting noses, this is very random, but when you're sculpting noses, if you actually sculpt from the bottom and uh, define the shape of the nostril, like what the actual shape of the nostril is from the very bottom, uh, can help you define what the actual shape of the nose should look like. So rather than from the, the side trying to sculpt that in, if you sculpt it from the bottom, uh, it can just, for some reason, be a little bit easier to work with. This is way too skull-like, so I need to soften this up quite a bit. I think it's just like too thin. I don't know. some lips in here like i said lips are always a challenge for me to sculpt i don't think this character's likeness is coming through at all so we'll keep working on it sometimes you get it sometimes you don't looking at some other pieces of reference here. Sort of these very thin lips. Let's start with a defining feature. to reference up this is what it's looking like just so you know what i'm following getting there getting there you can see kind of where i'm going with this the horns here are a very different shape than the previous one i kind of like those ones more though i like how the horns in general are kind of out more Eleven minutes, everybody. Eleven minutes on this one. I'm gonna have to put a little bit of extra work, I think. I think it's this right here. It's also just really not working for me, so I gotta adjust this proportion. And then we need to Eyebrows. Got stuff to find eyebrows and lips. So let's try what I'm trying to figure out. But a very soft face. And right now I don't have that. I have like this really gaunt, jokery face. Maybe I'm just trying to re sculpt this joker for some reason. I don't think this nose is right at all. Yeah, this is, this is one that maybe, you know, for a. Uh, 25 minutes was a challenge. But hey, we did three in a row that were pretty solid. Let's see, sometimes this might this might make it. This might come together in a way that's appealing. Just gonna get these eyes in. 
get some really serious peaks on this. I was like, from here, this does not look at all. This is getting there. Not really. Eh, kind of from the side. Not at all from like the three quarter though. So we'll have to remember that. Thinner nose for sure. Lack of hair right now is also hurting. You saw that probably with the Joker as well. This recorder view is not, not holding up. So friendly. It's more like Talison than it does Molly Mock. Maybe that's the point, huh? How am I doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. Trying to sculpt some characters today on a time budget, time limit, time restraint. Go ahead and just append, just because we don't have a lot of time left, a polysphere. So now it seems off centered, which either means my entire head is off centered. Or this is off center, or I just have perspective on. Ah, I just had perspective on. Uh, and we'll use this as the hair. So I'm going to shrink this down a base for our hair, that is, not the entire hair. Uh, and let's just go ahead and start sculpting the pretty asymmetrical and longer hair. So let's take some of this and just get this mesh out. We'll probably use other brushes for some of this, full disclosure. But anything that's going to go behind the ears, just drag this, turn this into a Dynamesh object. So uh, 64 Dynamesh, cool. I'm not going to go for perfection here, we're just kind of adding mass. Which kind of comes in here. Adding some flow. And that's kind of a nice little Clark Kent curl in front. So we're going to run with that. So the hair might be tucked behind the ears, tucked behind the horns. Let's do that all at once on both sides. Because where the horns and the actual head intersect is kind of a challenge. Things I haven't really thought about before. Turn this on. This is one of those ones that probably needs at least an hour. Unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, how do you go about making time for personal work? Uh, by putting time constraints on it. That's uh, kind of what we're doing today. What we are doing today is doing exactly that, which is, you know, we're, gonna do, we're doing six sketches today, each with a 25 minute time limit. And uh, by giving yourself time constraints, you can, uh, you know, work within a specific time. So otherwise what I find with personal projects, and this is stuff I deal with now still, uh, you'll noodle on it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So if you say, you know, I've only got, I only want to work on this or I want to complete it by X date. 
and then kind of work backwards from that. It'd be a little easier to create time because you know how much net time now you have to work on said project. If that makes any sense. This one actually has the horn, like the peak of the horn right here, which I like more. And this sort of more side. It does make sense for this to go here, because then it can just like run directly into the temple. But I kind of like it being more like this one. Now this is reminding me of... Ryan Gosling, for some reason. It says La La Land meets, my, meets Critical Role. Something about it. I don't know exactly what it is. But there's something there. It makes me feel like that. I don't know what it is though. Maybe it's the eyes, yeah. I don't know what it is. But at least all the pieces are there. So the thing, you know, if you've ever watched the stream before, what I'll often say is like, I'm not upset at this. You know, it's obviously on the time crunch. But this is one where it would be a nice first draft. back with some more time and a second you know, third attack on this thing it's probably what it needs well I take some of these to final in the next stream uh, likely not I'm planning to jump back into the uh, lizard dragon character we've been working on for the past several streams. I'm going to kind of take a break from that for a little while. Some of these I'm okay with, though. The Ninja Turtle is fine. I actually like the Batman head the most. This jaw, I think, is what it is. It's like such a round face. I think he needs like a real defined jawline. Something like in here, it just feels like this is the area that's oddly not working very well. There's a lot of areas that aren't working super well, but there's like a defined element to this part of them. Maybe it's more about the cheekbone line going down than it is this part of it, you know. Interesting character. I've never sculpted this before. There's something unique about the face. I'll have to, I might come back to this one. We'll see. This is like a challenge. It's like Alan Cummings. Yeah, a little bit. I think we had kind of talked about... Uh, oh, I hit time. But this is sort of like a combination of... Nightcrawler meets Hellboy. In a way. Uh, 
Yeah, we're at time. We're at time, Josh. Stop. All right. What will be our last one? I don't know if I'm going to put this one up here because it's not my favorite. I also didn't have time to color it. Well, what will be our last one? All right. We have one more. Yeah, one more. All right. So characters we have on our list. Mega Man. Well, Gambit, Hellboy, Nightcrawler. Let's pick something new if anybody's got something new. While I continue to noodle away at this piece. I feel like this is so close to Nightcrawler that I don't really want to do Nightcrawler. Obviously, it's not super close, but it's enough. Close enough. A little bit Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, yeah. I can see all of those references. Had to step out. How did Gambit turn out? We haven't done Gambit. Gambit's the only one I've kind of skipped around. Well, not, he's not the only one. One of the few I've skipped around on. Is not my fave, but we do need to pick a last one, and we have two minutes to pick. Just noodling on this last piece, trying to make it that's part of why it looks so weird. The top eyelid is way in front or behind. All right, Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom is a hard one to do in 25 minutes, I think. I love Dr. Doom, though. Prince Zuko. Oh, Zuko's interesting. Dr. Doom, Raptor Head. Tenzin from Korra. Let's scroll up. Somebody said Freddy Krueger before. Storm. Mega Man. Mega Man. We did skip Gambit, yes. Who do I want to make? Honestly, of all of them, we've done so many comic characters that Mega Man does sound sort of appealing. M. Bison. So sad. Yeah, I know. I don't know if I want to do like a anime character like that. All right, we have 15 seconds. 15 seconds to choose. Fifteen seconds to choose. Three seconds to choose. What are we making? What are we making, everybody? Yeah, screw it. Let's do Gambit. Let's do it. Is Gambit or Invincible? That's what I was coming back on. Of course, right as I typed that, I kind of want to make Invincible. Rhino. No Hellboy. I can only do six, everybody. I don't know, five, technically. Let's do Mark. Let's do Mark. I'm more into more of an Invincible fan anyways. Omni-Man. Ooh, Omni-Man's great, though. All right, we'll do Omni-Man for the end of the stream. Or 
We'll see how quickly I can get Omni Man made. Just dragged a piece of reference and now it disappeared on me. Copy and replace. All right, Omni Man. Let's do it. A couple people said Omni Man all at once. We'll hit start on this, even though basically when the that countdown ends, we will be at the end of the stream. So let's get rolling. All right, let's choose uh, this one. Let's not make it purple. Let's go like this. Let's uh, lower our subdivs, delete the higher, and make a head shape. You know what? No. We're going to save our project. So uh, save. That's the tools, I guess. File. Save as heads. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm saving the whole project. This includes all of the subtools over on the side. Uh, as I'm actually going to go to our tools, our projects, and for this one, we're going to do something different. We're going to use this head plane, which is uh, this one here. It's going to change everything, but we'll get this starting. I use this quite a bit. Uh, as you've seen me already do several times in the stream uh, with all those previous heads, which I will uh, load, I guess. Well, actually, you know what? I'm just going to save this. I should have this anyways as a head. Okay. Save. Great. File. File. Open. Would you like to save? No. So now I can open this stream, stream. I can open this project to open all the previous heads that we had as it takes a minute. There they are. You can see them. Uh, I'm going to hide them all, but I'm going to load the tool that I just saved, which is this. This way I can just start from this. Since we're making Omni-Man, we've already, I've already sculpted many ahead in this screen this stream and i didn't want to spend the time basically to get to this point so the two and a half minutes i just saved was basically what I, what i more or less would have done uh getting to here all right let's give uh omni man a bit of a broader base here The reason I want to do that is because I want to give him a bit of a bigger neck. Got a very square head. Kind of like this. But with a very defined jawline. And this is the line I just carved in here. There's a very defined line in Omni Man. And I've never actually sculpted on me, on me man before. So we'll see how this goes. Looks like it has a very flat nose, though. Obviously, we're going to have to get in a monster stash. It's more of a cowboy stash than an Omni man stash. So we're just going to block that in. Is there a shortcut for all sub tools, higher or lower? That is a good question. I don't know if there's a good shortcut for all. Uh, you can create one. Uh, if you hover over, where is it? All subtools. All high and all low. You can create one uh, just for that yourself. It's pretty easy. Puff this out a little bit. This is where this area is going to come from. Tuck that back in. That's where those eyeballs are going to go. You can also almost see him karate chopping somebody in half already. All we're going to do is this and we'll be done. You can kind of see it though. The mustache. The mustache is everything. We're going to do a lot of the heavy lifting here. On a on our Omni Man. Uh, 
and uh, just because I feel like we should, even though I don't know if I would necessarily do it this way all the time, I do kind of want to like outline where his hairline will be. This is all sort of work that you do up front when you're sculpting on something. You know, it's like, okay, this is going to go here. There's going to be like a line. It's going to kind of go this way. This is where it'll be short and gray on the sides, basically from here. This is where it'll be longer. It has sort of this not receding, but just like higher haircut. Just put the mustache on it and call it done. I know, that's what I'm saying. Done. Sometimes it gets into Kurt Russell mustache territory. But gotta get all those shapes in there first, you know? So it does have a lip, a top lip. First, I'm going to sculpt in this lip, the assumption that I'm going to cover it entirely. But I do want the bottom one to be there. And he's got a monster chin, though. Serious, like, how big his chin is. If, if in, within the time limit, I can actually make it look like Omni Man versus, you know, Throggerman, one of the many other Vultramates. So that is going to be a much more muscular version of Freddie Mercury. I'm also okay with. Somebody comes into the stream right now and says, Oh, you're sculpting Freddie Mercury. I won't be upset. The casting, though, for him is just incredible. J.K. Simmons is amazing. Not Freddie Mercury. <laughs> J.K. Simmons as Freddie Mercury would be uh, a whole... Different version of the movie Queen. I'd watch it though. I think his features are just like so small in his face. J.K. Simmons is pretty buff in real life too. That's true. That is correct. Whiplash, I feel like you're buffing whiplash. He's also an absolutely terrifying character. Whiplash is incredible. I love that movie. It's hard to watch sometimes, though. Just like... It's intense. So a lot of these original planes from the head I'm going to have to chisel away at. This might not be our best either, but, you know, just put that Burt Reynolds mustache on it and it'll be fine. So I'm not super worried. I 
I'm realizing now that like if I'm designing the character from my own version, 25 minutes isn't too bad. 25 minutes to sculpt the likeness of an existing character where everybody knows what they look like, that's a different question. It's incredible how much the facial hair changes the look. It is. I just remember the first time my dad shaved his mustache. I thought he was a very different person. I think every kid should have that moment, though. Well, he has had that moment. Somebody shaves their facial hair, and you're like, what? Who are you? And what did you do with my parent? I'm removing some of these elements uh, just because I want to kind of sculpt on them clean. The cartoon doesn't really give you a ton of information on like the line work is really efficient in the show. Uh, I could probably pull out some comics and get some better reference than what my one piece of reference is right now. But um, the line work in the, the show is very efficient, meaning there's not a lot that really describes the form. There's a lot that describes the shape, which is really cool and it makes it part of the character. But from a sculptural standpoint, that can make it a little difficult. To figure out. Knowing that I'm just going to go womp is part of what I'm trying to play into here. I'm just running with that for now. If we need to re-sculpt it, we can. It's looking pretty bad, though. So this is either um, Omni-Man or it's your classic British bare-chested brawler who fights like this. One or the other. It's hard to tell. Or Braum. If you're a League of Legends fan, this might be Braum. Tiny little ears. Omni-Man is definitely my favorite Invincible characters. He's just super interesting. Mark's obviously great. Alan is great. He's great. But number one Invincible character is without a doubt Battle Beast. No questions asked. It's 
Cecil. Yeah, Cecil's great too. Trying to get this sort of uh, this line that kind of goes like this in a comic, or at least in you know the reference that's over here, you can kind of see that. Okay, this and there's like a subtle tuck in, which means that there's a bowl. If you know, if we're translating this to form uh, in a sculpture, that means that there's a form here that's causing it to go under, and then there's a form here that's causing this to go straight. So, how we create this little thing you can do graphically obviously uh by just carving those lines in but trying to make it so that it reads from a form angle a little stronger that it kind of makes sense This is where we can just do this. A little wide. A little wide. Oh, not so not so much. Getting there.
think this hair more goes back into his head rather than out like a 90s boy band. seeing it in the reference just like kind of a plane change right there from the hair itself which is kind of what I'm aiming for One more volume up here too one early everybody that's gonna be close enough for me we're also over time for the stream anyways miscalculated my last one but i think that's going to be good enough here for an omni main oh, oh, beady terrifying eyes not too bad everybody thank you everybody for joining the stream i super appreciate you all being here uh it was nice to do these today do some different kinds of sketches so we had our omni man we had our uh Ninja Turtle that we ended up doing. We got our, let's put him over here. What we got over here? We got our uh, Tiefling that we worked on for a while today. We got our Joker. We got our Batman. I just could have made Omni Man off of this. But we did new ones every time. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Super appreciate it. And as the countdown goes off, I'm going to see, see you guys all next time. We'll be streaming one week from today, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Also, tomorrow night we'll be having an awesome Blender event, so please check that out on our socials. Like, subscribe, follow whatever you're watching, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, and we'll see you all soon. See you guys. Have a great day.